Hello, welcome to another video with me. This will be for my music player type thing. Um, this pretty much plays music. Um, it's just beeps, so it's like the Apit music from really old video games. Um, when you start it up, it says load. If so, type load. Else, type generate. So you want to load a song, type in load, enter. I'm just going to play one, and then path. This can either be the drive, or it can just be like the current um, folder you're in, and then you add in the path. So it can be like, if I had a full name, songs, and then other, and then I had one called like, first. Text. Um, by the way, this does not play sound files like MP3s. Um, I'll show you what the files that does play look like. But for right now, I know I have a song called this. And I'll just play that. This is what the files look like C4, C is the note, 4 is the octave, this is the duration. There should be four of these per line. You can have as many lines as you want. Well, actually not quite as many. Probably break if you put in more than like a hundred thousand. But I don't think that's gonna be a problem. And if you don't want to make your own songs, type generate. Then ask you duration limit. This is how long the maximum note can be. For me, minimum five. This is in milliseconds by the way. Frequency limit is how high the frequency can go. So I'm going to do 500. Don't make it too high, or it'll hurt your ears, and too low, you won't be able to hear it. This is a pretty good range, I think. Maybe you can go to like 750 on the frequency, but really don't go above 1000, it'll hurt, trust me. Four note things, you'll see, so 25. Now it shows you your options, and then it asks you for generations. Um, I'm going to do 10, and now it says whether or not to play the songs. You can either put false. If you don't want them to play it while it's generating, or yes, if you do. I don't, so now it just generates them all, and then will close down. Now, all the songs are in here. You'll notice these songs are different. That's because this is the frequency, and this is the duration. It's the same thing, only with numbers. You can do this too if you just want to type your songs in like this. I mean, it's e I think it's easier to do it the other way, that's why I added it. You can also play, so let's say I want to just do two songs, um, and that gives me a new option, it says custom load list, this is either yes, if you want to type in all the names of the songs, or no, if you wanted to, um, just run through, um, songs that name, like, numbers, like, 1 through 10, it'll go, let's go through all of those. I do want one, and I'll play songs when I load Pretty generally, you want this to happen. Um, the only reason why you wouldn't is if you're like bug testing, but I don't see why you'd be doing that. <laughs> so I'm gonna put yes. This is the first song, and this is the second song. Well, um, and just by the way, you do not have to log the five. Um, like when you stop um, generating the list, because the quantity up there is how many songs you can type in. song. Now, another way you can load it is by going in, let's say I want to do 10, and if you press no, and yes, now it'll load through all songs 1 through 10, and you'll see that and hear that in a second. all there is to it. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, you can make these as long as you like, but really don't make them too long. Um, you can put real music into it. It'll just take a lot of effort. Probably want to do it like this. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. And